good day i welcome you all at the lecture on analysis of three hinged arch of subject structure analysis one the subject code is cepc503 and the related model number is 2 myself sandeepan shah assistant professor for the department of civil engineering of greater kolkata college of engineering and management in the jas group let us first proceed to have a look on the topics that we are going to cover in this lecture and those are as follows that is basic concepts of three hinged arch various components of a three hinged arch analysis of arch and numerical example beams transfer the applied load to end supports by bending and shear action in this process either one or two points at a particular section is subjected to maximum stress the material in most of the portion is under stress and hence under utilized the horizontal distance from one support to another support is called the span for larger spans beams are very uneconomical and many a time the self weight of the beams contributes to the stress in such large portions that it is difficult to design beams for larger spans for large spans like bridges arches are provided instead of beams arches are nothing but carved beams that transfers loads to their plane arches transfer loads to abutments at springing joints springing points hinges may be provided at these points the topmost point is called crown which sometimes has a hinge and it is then called a three hinged arch the height of the crown above the support level is called rise because of the carved nature of the arches they give rise to horizontal forces also abutments are designed for horizontal forces any section in the arch will be subjected to normal thrust radial shear and bending moment however the bending moment is considerably less compared to a beam of the same span thus loads get transferred partly by axial compression and partly by flexion in axial compression each and every particle of the cross section of the structure is subjected to stress equal hence the material is utilized fully reduction in the bending moment results in smaller sections for the arch compared to the section required to the beams to transfer the same load this is a picture of a arch bridge these are the arches as you can see these are the arches that are provided in the bridge and over the arches there is the roadway this is a typical picture of a arch bridge where this is the abutment so this is the abutment and the springings are here here and sometimes at the topmost point that is at here and this point is called crown and the height of the crown from the support level that is from here so the height of the crown from the support level is called the rise and this is the span of this arch from here to here and one thing to be remembered specifically that this crown this is the crown so this is the topmost point of the arch that is the arch is here this is the arch this is the arch so the arch starts from here and ends at here so from here to here the curved red color drawing is a arch in our current study we will be analyzing three inch arch 
that is here and this is a typical picture of a 3 inch arch as you can see one hinge is at A one hinge is at the topmost point that is at the crown point C and uh, and the third hinge is at the support point B normally the 3 inch arch is of two types that is one is circular arch and a parabolic arch in case of the circular arch from the properties of circle we have a working equation that is L by 2 into L by 2 equals to H into 2R minus H and this equation can be used in analyzing the circular arch where L is the span of the arch as you can see L is the span of the arch H is the height of the crown from the central position that is here that is H is the height of the crown that is that uh, uh, crown is the topmost point of the arc and arc is the radius of the circular arch so this is the radius of the circular arch L equals to the span of arch that is here and H is the height of crown that is here. now in case of a parabolic arch we have a working equation that is y equals to 4 h x by l square into l minus x and this equation can be used for analyzing a parabolic arch let us take a xx section at a certain point on the arch if a certain point on the arch is d and the section xx goes through this section this point so the xx section goes through d point then the distance of xx section from the left hand support A is expressed as x that is small x and the height of point D with respect to the support level that is we are talking about this height we denote this height as y so y is the height of the point d from the support level so y is the height of the point d from support level and and small x is the distance of the section xx that which goes to the point d and x is the distance of the section xx from the left hand support a so we can calculate y from this equation where again I am saying L is the span of the arch and h that is small h is the height of the crown from the support level of the arch so h is the height of the crown from the support level so 
for analyzing an arch we need to calculate the normal thrust that is this one this one and the radial shear this one at any point on a arch on an arch here we have taken an arbitrary point d and with respect to point d that is at point d we will calculate the normal thrust in and radial shear q as per the formula n equals to v sin theta plus h cos theta and q equals to that is the radial shear equals to v cos theta minus h sin theta where v is the vertical shear at point d again i am reminding n is the normal thrust at point d and q radial shear that is q is the radial shear at point d and theta is the theta means this 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 so theta is the slope at d so from here we get so theta is the slope at point d so let us do a problem on a 3 inch parabolic arch the problem is this one this is the problem so the problem says that a 3 hinge arch of span 20 meter and rise 4 meter carries a uniformly distributed load of 20 kN per meter on the left half of the span that is here so in this problem we have to find out the maximum bending moment for the arch so this is a three hinge arch as the hinges are situated at a c and p and this is the span of the arch that is from here to here is 20 meter and the rise at the central that is the maximum rise at the central point position of the arch is 4 meter so now we have to solve this problem and don't forget that this 20 kN per meter uniformly distributed load is acting at the left half portion of the span that is here so in order to solve this problem first we need to calculate the vertical reactions at a and b that is we have to calculate the va and vb in order to do so let us take moment about point a we have summation of moment equals to zero so we have moment 20 into 10 into 5 that is 10 by 2 minus VB into 20 solving this equation we get V 
bv as fifty kilonewton. So v equals to one fifty kilo newton. So sign convention for this calculation that is this calculation we have clockwise moment as positive and anti-clockwise moment as negative. Now let's calculate the horizontal thrust that is H. So taking moment about point C, we have that summation of moment equals to zero. As this is a hinge support, right? So we have here H into four. That is when we are taking moments about point C, the first moment we counter is the moment caused due to the horizontal thrust that is h and the distance between h and point c is 4 meters so the moment is h into 4 and it is causing the clockwise moment so this is positive and next is the force is vv so moment generated due to vv is in the anti clockwise direction so we are taking is taking this as negative so the moment caused by by the force vv is vv into 10 meter as the distance between point c and force vv is 10 meter so calculating this we get h equals to 125 kilo newton. So, from calculation, we have V equals to 150 kilo newton and VB equals to 50 kilo newton and h equals to 125 kilo newton. Now let's take a section which is situated. Now let's we are taking a section xx which is situated at x distance from point A that is from the left hand support and its height is y. So from the property of parabola we have y equals to 4 h by l square into x by minus into l minus x where h equals to 4 meter that is a central rise and l is the total span of the arch. So putting the value of L and H that is H equals to 4 meter and L equals to 20 meter we get 4 into 4 by 20 square into X into L that is 20 meter minus X we get Y equals to 
1 by 25 into x into 20 minus x. So now cal calculate bending moment about the section xx. So we have bending moment about section xx that is mx equals to 150 into x minus 20 that is this force 20 into x into x by 2 minus 125 that means this force 125 into y as the distance between the horizontal thrust and the section xx is y. So we get this equation and you have already calculated the value of y. So putting the value of y at this equation we get 150 into x minus 10 x squared minus 125 into 1 by 25 into x into 20 minus x. So, we have this equation. Now, upon further calculation, we get mx equals to 150x minus 10x square minus 100x plus 5x square. Upon further simplifying, we get 50x minus 5x square. So mx, that is moment about section xx, becomes 50x minus 5x square. We have 5x into 10 minus x. mx equals to 5x into 10 minus x. Now, for the condition of maximum bending moment, for the condition of maximum bending moment, differentiating mx with respect to x, we get dmx by dx equals to 0. So, we get after 
differentiating the value of mx we get 50 minus 10x equals to 0 and upon further simplifying we have that we get x equals to 5 meter from this equation x equals to 5 meter means that the maximum bending moment occurs at a distance of 5 meter from the left hand support that is from here so putting the value of x equals to 5 meter at this equation we get maximum bending moment that is m max equals to 5 into 5 into 10 minus 5 so the maximum bending moment is 125 kilonewton meter which occurs at a distance of 5 meter from the left hand support A that is from here. Thank you.